this now. Oh my goodness. Who what do we this? got here? Who is this? Who is this? Look at this. You're not going to believe who it is. Wait, who is it? I've yeah. been awake for I've been asleep uh, awake for a long time. I'm not sure who it is. I've been awake for a little bit of time, so okay. I'm not sure who I am either. This is unbelievable. This is early for me. This so is I've, early for you. And you're on your like you're late right John now. John Gabris. Hello, Tom. How are you? I'm wonderful, brother. How are you? I'm you good. Have a I'm paperback good. these days? I as do. of today? As of as yes. We're, we're 24 hours it's been available. Oh, hell yeah. yeah. And if we sell enough, we can save the rec center. So come on, kids. We can, yes. <laughs> Guys, we gotta save the team up. And yeah, we're gonna we gotta, we gotta pull it together. Now what you're pouring something from some sort of jug and uh yeah i brought my uh yeti brand cooler filled with uh, a concoction that i like to drink when i'm uh, when okay. i'm getting after it but okay. uh, there's no alcohol what? in here what in here is cold brew concentrate some coconut water mm -hmm. some oat milk and some laird hamilton superfood creamer so it okay. should this should get you through to the remainder of the thing i'll have and i have some for the people backing you oh, up, this too. Oh, that's amazing. Yeah. John, this is amazing. I figured you could use a little coffee. This oh, is like my, my go-to at 4 p.m. when I'm ready to tie one on again. Yeah. I need, yeah, I need yeah. some hydration oh, and some caffeine. Oh, this is great. This is great. I appreciate this. Because uh, I've uh, i been trying to be very sparing with the caffeine because I knew I, I would want it to. I didn't want to have constant crashes. Yes. Yeah. Or like so. another 20-minute fucking diarrhea break or whatever. I, exactly. Yeah. That's what I'm afraid of, and I'm only on this for God knows yeah. how long. Yeah, maybe well, six minutes if I finish this. Look, you have an interesting relationship with uh, upset stomachs, and uh, <laughs> like you just you did your you and Adam Pally <laughs> did a show. Or you're still doing a show. Correct. It's called One Hundred and One Places to Go. Party to Par party to party before you die. Yeah, dog. That's it, the that's the show. It's right there in the title, and it's on True TV. Correct. And um, so good luck trying to watch it, yeah, everyone. <laughs> there. Um, look, I'm not gonna. Like, you watch True TV. I was watching. Uh, I don't want to say they play Impractical Jokers too much on it. I was watching it, and the tape broke the other. Like the literally, <laughs> it just it snapped partway through it, and I was like, "Isn't it all div digital now?" It's still that's how much they wore out the digital. <laughs> we were we found out we would be uh, our lead in would be Impractical Jokers, and we were super stoked about that. But then we found out there it's like that. Our follow is Practical Impr Jokers. Impr it's yeah. like it's six hours of Impractical yeah. Jokers up to yeah. us, then uh -huh. us, then a few more yeah. hours of and it. And then yeah. they're also uh, doing a split screen with Impractical. Practical Jokers. Yeah, the Impractical Jokers wrap-up show it, of our show yeah. where they comment yeah, on it. picture in picture. <laughs> here. So there's just just no way. Just five of the worst New York accents yeah. all yelling over each other. <laughs> yeah, those look. I, I Sal is, is somebody. I, I love Sal. He's such a sweetheart of a guy. They've been nothing but supportive to us as uh, friends in the network. So uh, yeah. I appreciate I mean, whatever phony networking relationship no, it is, it's good delight. Guys. Yeah. They're good guys. Sal's a legit good dude. Monsignor Farrell in the house, you know, mm -hmm. Staten Island Catholic High School. Are you a Staten Island guy? I'm a Long Island You're guy. You're no, that's right. How how are you? Um, what's your familiarity with Staten Island? I, uh, I in college, I lived with all Monsignor Farrell kids. Okay. I lived with a bunch of uh, uh -huh. Catholic Guidos in sure. college, so okay. I, I knew a lot of people from that school and, mm -hmm. and Holy Trinity and Kellenberg and Chaminade mm -hmm. on Long Island. Yeah, yeah, it's a very special place. I. Uh, <laughs> I once went to, like, Patton Oswalt shot the movie Big Fan on Staten Island. Hell yeah. And I went out to say hi to him one night, and we went to a, to a, a, a pastisseria, Bruno, the name of the place, pastisseria Bruno. And we go there, and we're sitting, and then the, um, the, the, the server came over, and then she took our order, and then she came back, and she just goes, uh, she goes, yeah, I uh, I don't want to sound like an a-hole, but they're all telling me you're famous or something. <laughs> he said to Patton. <laughs> That's the most north, like northeast shit ever. Is like, mm -hmm. hey, look, everyone says I'm supposed to know who you are, yeah. but I don't. So <laughs> was, tell me who the fuck you are. That was exactly <laughs> what it was, and it was so funny. It was just like, I've never heard like a like a a, a food. 
a food server like curse. Yeah, like to be straight up rude, <laughs> yeah. arguably. Just like, but they're just like, it's like, yeah, it's like, hmm. okay. If there's a place for us uh, to be cursed at by your server. Mm-hmm. I feel like it's Staten Island. Um, yeah. Yeah. No, it was, ama- it was amazing. But I, I have always, I always have an affinity for, for Staten Island. And, uh, but Long Island and New Jersey, we have the thing. You've got Billy Joel. We've got Bruce Springsteen. You've got the shore. We are, we're an island. Yeah, like, you've got, what do you have? What would you consider? What's the equivalent of the Jersey Shore? We have like Montauk, Montauk probably, yeah. yeah. But the thing is, I've said it before, I'll say it again. All these New York New Yorkers, and not, I'm not talking about Long Island, you're, you're, it does not apply to you. We get these like snobby New Yorkers like, oh, New Jersey. It's like, yeah, I don't see anybody from New Jersey going to Coney Island. <laughs> right. <laughs> for, like, you're all coming. Head down to the yeah. Rockaways. Yeah. Well, that's the thing. I never went to the shore uh-huh. uh, because I, like, just like a Jersey, uh, someone who lives in Jersey never really mm-hmm. went to beaches on Long Island. It makes yeah. no sense. Yeah. No. So I've always found that, it, like, Jersey and Long Island have that, like, same shit, different toilet yeah, ri- yeah. rivalry where it's like, nah, dude, this is what, and it's like, ev- and then New York hates both of us equally. Oh, no, they just look at us <laughs> both. We're just, we're just low. <laughs> But meanwhile, and then we all look at Westchester as upstate New York. Sure, and that's, that's whack. upstate New York. Yeah, but they all, um, yeah, they all, they all just like you need us when you need us. So it's like, oh, I guess I'll go to the Jersey Shore. Oh, you guess you'll grace us with your presence. <laughs> it's like, don't do us any favors. Oh, thank you for coming. Yeah, oh, thank, okay, park thank your... you for clogging up our beach. <laughs> yeah, bring your Tesla and your fucking. <laughs> I went to Montauk this last summer with my family for a big family trip. That's where we went growing up. Mm-hmm. And I was taken aback. And I know Long Island. I know the political makeup. But people were straight up. Like American flag and Trump flag mm-hmm. and Blue Lives Matters flag mm-hmm. at the beach, the like beach. bringing the flag, bringing yeah. three flagpoles like, to yeah. the beach. Like God forbid, you just give it a rest for a. <laughs> you can go to the beach and not like be like I'm mad at everybody. <laughs> I know. I'm gonna fight at the beach. I wanted to go up to this party so bad and go. You don't even <laughs> need these flags. Look yeah. at your fucking the length of your yeah. bathing suit says. That, that says, this is what yeah. you, yeah. you, you to- you're telling the story with the bathing suit. Your sunburn tattoo combo and hairline <laughs> all explain that you guys are cops. We know yeah. you're cops. <laughs> That's exactly. <laughs> yeah, yeah, and they just like. It is funny because. We're entering it. We're entering a phase where it's just like when like whoever wins, like when Obama was president, you had like half the people like, yay, Obama's president. And the other half was like, oh, I hate Obama. And that's how it always went. Where it's just like, oh, George W. Bush. Bush. Yeah, yeah. But then like as soon as Trump got in, it's like the people he the people who should be happy were still mad. Like that's the first time we've ever entered a state where everyone's mad. Sore still. winners. Yeah, sore winners. <laughs> it had never happened, and now suddenly, suddenly, it's just like we won, and we're. Ugh. It's like wait, no, you're supposed to just sit back and kick your feet up and yeah, and you got your god yeah, king. Relax for four years. Ta- taunt the people, taunt the losers, <laughs> not just be like we're, we're we are we lost. It's like no, you won, you won. Just, and then when you lose, it's like, no, we secretly won. It's like, come yeah. on, guys, pick a yeah, fucking pick, lane pick, here. Did you win or did you lose? <laughs> exactly. So what? When, so the episodes, how many did you shoot now? We shot uh, eight. Uh, the third episode airs uh, this Thursday, tomorrow. Uh, okay. I, I know you have no idea what day it is. I barely do. Mm-hmm. Uh, but yeah, and it... Yeah, we we got into this talking GI tract, and uh, mm-hmm. I'm a 40 year old par- ex party animal, I guess not fully ex, and uh, uh, uh-huh. my stomach is yeah. like been brutalized sure. by my behavior, and the show mm-hmm. was just like I was asked, I knew what I was getting into, but I'm 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 prepared, you know, yeah, I'm yeah. like that like soldier who's like, yeah, no, 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 we just got to tie it up, and I can mm-hmm. continue, like just keep, yeah. just pack the wound in, and I'll keep going, like I yeah. just need to wake up an hour and a half before I'm supposed to be somewhere, <laughs> uh, that's, that's, yeah, <laughs> you're just kind of just like, oh, okay, splash some cold water on my face, literally email, <laughs> emailing your producer this morning. <laughs> Being like, I think I'm gonna be a little late as I'm like yeah. shitting my brains out again. <laughs> Sorry. No, that's okay. Hey, um, pay out. Pay out. His name's Pat. I uh, say pay out. Oh, okay. Makes everybody feel special when I slightly mispronounce. Give him a nickname. Yeah, that's yeah. a like a classic Hollywood alpha move. He's yeah. like that way you don't actually have to remember people's names. Yeah. You just remember like what's yeah. in your head. Hey, slick. <laughs> hey, slick that, would be the dude. I'm I, I, the amount of people I call handsome. Amount uh-huh. of men I just yeah. call handsome because I cannot wait, wait, place wait, their wait. name in that yeah. moment. <laughs> yeah. 
Hey, what up, handsome? Uh, long time no see. What's up, man? <laughs> Always like, yeah, no, that's the that's the thing. We were talking about that on the show a couple weeks ago where it was like the 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 names that people that seem they're seemingly friendly, but they're so loaded and full of like, we're just like, uh, what can I get for you, boss? Yeah. It's like boss is like, they don't like you. They're calling you boss. Yeah, bosses they, are traditionally yeah. an antagonistic yeah, that's relationship. Exactly yeah. That's exactly it. It's just like, yeah, nobody likes the boss. <laughs> what can I get you, boss? My my version of that is every bouncer calling mm-hmm. me big man. Yeah. All right, big, hey, big man. man. Let me see that ID, big man. <laughs> okay. Yeah. All right. Yeah, no, there, I'm, I, and then I like the idea where it's just like, I just almost want to go like, this is my ID. He, this shows I'm over 21. You're really, you're really going to question. It's like, and if there's a raid in this place, I can t- do the same thing to the police. I will also. be older than the cops that arrive. <laughs> exactly. For sure. Yeah. You're just the idea like, all right, you don't have ID. You might be underage. It's like, come on. Dude, getting older than cops in my early 20s and older than the women in mm-hmm. porn magazines were like the two biggest like leaps in my life mm-hmm. where I was like, they're grownups, they're grownups. And then you yeah. just turn a corner and you're like, if if I'm in trouble, I'm going to call a 22-year-old kid yeah. with a gun to come uh-huh. help me. Yeah. <laughs> no exactly. fucking way. Well, well get, get ready for this moment, John. <laughs> when you look and you see politicians that are younger than you well that's the next one that's <laughs> oh, coming no. in and the US I have, too, I have where that oh, yeah. pretty fucking old <laughs> I have that too I have that now where it's like I'm I know I am older than Josh Hawley or whatever his name is <laughs> and you have better beliefs yeah. it's, it's like, like come on man yeah. like yeah I don't like it's not a good feeling when suddenly you're like wait that idiot is younger than me that, oh no he's got more life to yeah. live than I do at this point yeah. fuck yeah <laughs> Pat, pay at Pat. I just want to check the schedule because we are scattered like nobody. Hey, business. I, I can bounce sure. anytime. No, this uh, is amazing. You, you are. <laughs> yeah, the film. Pat just, and I. Turns out we've known each other for like twenty years. Uh, really? Yeah, and I didn't. We didn't place it. Hey, how are we doing with uh, other other people? I just want to make sure we're on target with stuff. Yeah, um, Claire might be in the hole. Okay. Okay, is anybody here? Uh, nobody. Not yet. Okay. All right, cool. Thank you, Pat. Pull me whenever. I don't give okay. a shit. Yeah, yeah. I think, yeah, let's talk for a few more minutes, and then I'm going to try to catch up, because there's a couple people Yeah, no worries. that I've been pushing, and they're going to push back. <laughs> you know they're going to. Yeah. So, what... Uh, what happened? What is the rest of uh, 2022 going to be for you? Filming the final few episodes? They're all in the can, actually. Okay, so so now it's just, uh, you know, classic Hollywood, frantically tweeting, begging people to watch my show. Like the dy- like it's it's upsetting that mm-hmm. I'm like hustling to make Warner Brothers Discovery some money. I sure. guess, but yeah. uh, that. I got that lined up. I got, you know, a few uh, vacations for fun. Okay. Uh, and my big my big highlight is me and two of my uh, childhood best friends are going to – It's our, we all turned 40 this year. Okay. And to celebrate, we're going to Gen Con, which is a tabletop gaming convention. Okay. And we're going to be playing some D&D and some board right. games. Yeah. And are you uh, uh, chaotic good – I, uh, I often play uh, chaotic good or lawful, uh, uh, like a neutral good, sure. neutral evil in that yeah. in that world. Yeah. Uh, what do you like it being an elf? You like being an elf? I yeah, I do like being an elf. I, I guessed the whole thing. I said a chaotic good elf. Yeah, you're. Well, I always I love to be a chaotic good elven ranger. That's a classic okay. one. I like to go against my type. I, I'm usually mm. like. You know, I, when I was growing up, I would play like the barbarian or the yeah. berserker or the half orc fighter yeah, or whatever. But now you're now you're tapping into a, a more sensitive. Side, yeah, you know, it's my, this is my Green New Deal is playing Elven Rangers. This is my, my you know, this is uh-huh. my <laughs> grassroots efforts here. Yeah. <laughs> no, this is look, John. I'm so happy to see you. This is first of all, this is amazing. This is seriously amazing. Um, yeah, it's got get you hydrated. The Laird Hamilton uh, superfoods got that shaga and that reishi yeah. mushroom for your adaptogenic mushrooms for the brain. Okay, oh, yeah. I did read all the labels of the stuff uh-huh. here because okay. I was like, oh, the bit would be to know a lot about it, and yeah. just I totally forgot yeah, until just yeah. now. Yeah. Yeah. I was I was terrified you were going to bring in something truly disgusting, and I was going to be just like, oh, thanks, man. Hey, thanks. Like, mm, Glad you drove here. Yum and yum. You delivered this. <laughs> yum yum. Uh, 
That was good. Oh, it was amazing. I'm not going to give a guy prank coffee halfway was, through a 24 hour session. I was like, please don't give me prank coffee. That's all I was praying. No prank coffee. Um, like Cuffs gives his partner. Is that a topical reference? Like, cu- like, uh, George Cuffs from the uh, Christian Slater in the movie Cuffs, he gives oh, his co- partner a coffee filled with pills yeah, that I, makes him go crazy. Okay. Yeah. I always think of. Uh, when, when I think of cop hijinks, I always think of uh, the Police Academy. Movies. Classic, when, yeah. Uh, when he puts glue in the shampoo and then he has his hands <laughs> glued to his head. Uh, in high school, I was a huge fan of the Police Academy movies. I guess I still am, obviously. Mm-hmm. But uh, when you would take tests, they'd be like, and your proctor will be. And it was mm-hmm. impossible for me, like – Tourette style, not to go mm-hmm. proctor. Yeah, <laughs> you just yeah, you can't uh, shake it like commandant Lassard. Commandant Lassard, that's right, <laughs> dude. I can't think of the word Lassard until you say commandant. Yeah. It's like it's yeah. like it's like, uh, Com- and yeah. also with you. It's yeah, like, if you were <laughs> <Yeah>. race Catholic. <laughs> yeah, commandant Lassard. John, Mahoney, can I get in Tackleberry High Tower? The, uh, the whole game hooks. Hooks. That Hooks. was the little uh, woman who could. Well, she was like, uh, everybody stop. Okay. And it's like, back up, back up. She gets yeah. them all to fall in and the pool. And then she always gets, then she just starts yelling. Yeah. And everybody. Can I get another hit of this? Of course, dog. Let me top amazing. you off. Yes, yeah. please. It's really amazing, amazing uh, brew you put together. Yeah. When we go camping, I usually make a batch of this for the morning after, and people go, we're pretty excited yeah. about it. Especially if you've been up all night doing mushrooms. It's awesome. Quite. <laughs> well, I've just been up all night talking to people. Oh, uh, worse. Yeah, worse. I'd rather I know. do talking drugs. to people. <laughs> Something yeah. I do for a, a profession. Yeah, it yeah. sucks. <laughs> yeah. Well, well John this just came. hit my colon, okay. so I'm going to have to you, I'm yes. going to have to get out of here. I can call in from the shitter, but maybe you just have other people you'd I rather talk to. I think we're good. This is amazing, John. <laughs> Thank You're you, so Tom. funny. I appreciate you coming by and doing this. This is a total treat. No problem. I'm going to go give these out to the okay, hard yeah. work and Everybody behind the scenes it. heads. Um, all right, Tom. See you around. Thanks 101 so much, places buddy. to party before you die. Thursday nights, True TV, 1030 p.m. Check it out. Bye. Absolutely. Thanks, John. <laughs> amazing. We are. Tom, good luck with the Thanks so much, buddy.